versus Gambit. Winner makes it to upper bracket of the playoffs. Fair. We'll see. Shackle is going to try to teleport himself to base, but he will not be able to make it. First blood happens. Bottom lane. Kill potential on the top with an extra mm -hmm. slow or a good Fisher block on Pagana, who's still level five. And uh, there it comes. Slow from Troll. Axis. Even Pango came. So that's going to be an easy kill. Night Stalker rotate. Do you want to see aggressive rotations coming out from Secret, or are you happy with them just playing defensive Dota at the moment? Like, they are rotating, but only in answer to what Gambit is doing. And actually, with this focus fire, Gambit, Vampire, is taking so much damage. They're all coming, though. FNG here as well. They want to take down Nisha, bouncing around. This time, Nisha not close to a cliff, and he'll end up dropping while it is the Shaker that lives. TP out coming from uh, Puppy. They do rotate with the Night Stalker, so him missing from the map might be an obvious tell for Secret, but not obvious enough for Puppy, who's, uh, who's eaten all the damage. Like, there was no way out. It's a tier 1 tower, and this is the no. second most, first cost efficient, most cost efficient item in the game. Yep. That's uh, Crystalis for you. Matu getting a kill there. The tree wasn't uh, there to shackle Shacklo. And Team Secret, they're insane. They don't care about AA Fisher. Uh, they don't care about nighttime. They're in Roche Pit uh, hitting it. And look at Ooh. this, just scouting and some good harassment. Yep. Nice blast coming out though. Anzai and Puppy. FN is taking way too much damage. He has to be careful. He is actually uh, dropping right there. Yapstor has to be careful as well. He's able to shield crush himself away. One more Shaklo. Sh shot. Uh, the, yeah, the amplified damage will make sure that you're visible for that power shot coming out from Nisha. Two heroes dead on the side of Gambit. <laughs> All right. So Secret is actually now smoking up, looking for a uh, kill, looking for a pickup. They miss Shaklo here on the left, but they do end up finding themselves a better target in FN's. Pangolier. Pangolier deals a lot of damage in a short period of the time, but is uh, extremely squishy with this kind of a build. Oh, did they get the outpost in time? I don't think. Yeah, they do actually. That is that. That was yeah. Some next level uh, things as a shackle comes out well, on FNG. He denied the rune, but paid with his life. So we can't Should be around a minute and a half if my yeah. inner clock is correct. Is that like, how about this clock? Is that any more helpful? I think the yeah, never mind. We are, it should be soon, uh, but Secret still has a little bit of time to work with it. Uh, they won't have Puppy to work with it though, because he dies. Chackle will die in return with the Omni Slash being used by Matu. And they are just going to continue forward without Puppy anyway. They just need to be careful about the Earth Shaker's Echo Slam. Yeah, so you, you can see poke. the positioning. GG's branches drop to block some vision. Let's look at this Echo. It goes and they do kill off Nisha. He has got buyback. That was the Blink Echo. Matu will be able to just Blade your TP out. There is that at least uh, for him. The rest of his squad is trying to get out Zai. He'll try to teleport out as well, and actually he will be able to do so because they don't see him in time. If he just gets Nisha, it's not enough. It's a Night Stalker to buy some time, get him, give him a good positioning in a team fight. He has a Blink Dagger, wants to go in, create chaos for Earthshaker, then he's going to be following up with AA ulti. If Here they, can, comes, if they can blow try. up ages, that would be a really big. They are going to try. Matu will drop once the rest of his team is here the shackle already jeez that was so much damage coming out in fng he'll be the first to fall on the side of gambit the rest is just trying to get himself out shackle he's gonna try but look at that damage coming out from nisha that is ridiculous and rotate towards nisha this time around they do also have him they know he's there they have him with the vision they will initiate with the Echo Slam. There's no hope. Like that, like you can't even pop BKB. The cheese obviously wouldn't have done anything with the AA Blast. So that's a great kill for Gambit. And they are looking for more, actually. Oh, they find themselves Poppy. The roll is there as well. Looking to slow him down. This river oh, is speedy. the Slardar's domain, though. It is definitely not Yapsaurus, however. He gets fissured and cut off. But you can see Team Secret. They're still holding the high ground. If. Uh, if they overextend, they, uh, they will that. gladly yeah. take that fight, man. I love this team, uh, but we gotta give credit to Gambit. The nice pick off on a Vendranger, exactly what they need to do. Try to buy yeah. some more time. And they didn't overextend. It would be very easy to yeah. just, you know, you feel like you just got two kills. You feel like you're outnumbering your opponent and you can do more, but they didn't go for that high ground. They knew that that would be a risky play for them. TPI is not gonna happen there for FN. 
Is Puppy going to be able to bash him? Yes, he is. Corrosive Haze there as well as the Omni Slash actually jumps to the neutrals. So FN's fine. One, two, three already from Team Secret. Yeah, they know exactly where Gambit will come from. And we already see Puppy at the back there, ready to break the smoke. The jump forward, BKB still early goes BKB. back for Nisha. That is indeed an early one. I, oh, he's actually going to go in. He jumped forward. He shackles the ancient operation. FNG lives, though, for the moment. It is Shackle. Nice it is the step. first one to die with Matsumaman getting him. Nisha, in the meantime, in the back lines, getting focused. And now Matu, his ulti is down. And his... Well, his Wind Rangers actually was down, coming back Earth to Shaker. the outpost. Nice positioning. He has Echo Slam ready. He's ready for it. He just needs to get Secret in a position where they're actually grouped up. Like, it, they are so aware of their positioning, despite, like, in the midst of a team fight that is normally pretty hectic, they are still very much aware that Vampire is still out there somewhere ready for a jump and i mean at the moment it doesn't even matter if he's ready on the side for a jump because the kill happened mid that was fn they were able to take him down and that big team fight that gambit really wanted to have they're not gonna get it i kind of feel like this is tier force and this could be game if, if fn doesn't buy back he has to buy back earth shaker saving good uh, echo slam for losers bracket yeah uh, for the next game you know Benefit of the doubt. Team fight in the racks, but they'll probably secure them the game. Blink away and escapes from Gambit. They realize what is happening, but do they realize it enough? They're actually jumping FN on the top side first. Take that one down. Matu did get the spin off, so he'll be fine for the moment. There's no buyback on FN. He already used it in the previous fight. Mm -hmm. The secret finds the perfect target. Yeah, we're still waiting for the Echo Slam. Vampire is waiting for that positioning of Secret to be perfect because he needs that perfect Echo Slam. That is the only way back into this game. Shaklo already at the back lines with the supports, already pops his BKB, so he has to be careful. That is an Big Echo Slam. Big Echo on it, the ground. It's not enough. Like, he just echoed into the back and he'll just die to Matu, the rest of his team. BKB attempts to TP out, but he gets bashed. He'll pop his ultimate, see what he can do, see if he can get someone. He does manage to get Yapsor. Is he able to get more though? He gets oh, oh a shackle, a shackle, as well as Dream. That is two extra kills and a GG is called Gambit. Taps out of this one. It was a rough game. What looks like it's going to be a dual lane with uh, Slardar and Lion. Mm -hmm. A lot of stun, a lot of control. So I'm back indeed. Nisha versus FN here in this mid lane. This is the last pick Ember Spirit. And normally you kind of expect like the last pick to be like, hey, FN, you're gonna be up against Kunka. Please hold that thought. This Snapfire needs to eat a cookie, but she doesn't have it. He, she's dead. FNG dropping there. Is he able to slow him down though? I would say yes. Dream is 10 and 1 in the in the last hits. And I mean you, you can compare him to Josiah if you want, but I'd rather compare him to the Spectre who's 21 and 1. That's why when you see Slardar, you want to pick a range here. There's going to be one more kill. Yep. There's an extra bash. His lane, we have a Vampire and Snapfire. Uh, FNG Snapfire being on that bottom lane, seeing if they can pressure Matuma Man uh, a little bit. Speaking of pressure, Dream is getting pressured. And Nisha Ooh. is here as well. Nice jump away, but Matuma Man, he's haunting in. He wants to be here for this. A TPI from Dream is not going to do the trick, though. And Vampire now, he's left to his own self, left to his device. He's dead. Getting bashed there as well. Nisha will, will cleave him down. Six faces void. Ulti is ready. They need to get a bigger kill. This is not a big kill. Puppy is uh, actually not even a kill at all at this rate. He needs to... <laughs> I was going to say, he would, would need a little bit more uh, commitment from FN for that to be a kill. In the meantime, Zai is seeing if he can, can commit on FN. Now that the spirits are down. Boat will take out FNG with the help of Yapster. FN is still running. Still not got any remnants available. Chrono coming out though. Dream oh, managing nice to turn this Chrono. one around, but Matu is here as well. Zai looking for another crush. Misses it actually. Doesn't matter though. Will still be a kill for Team Secret. In the meantime, it is Nisha that is getting gone upon by Shaklo and Dream himself. Oh my goodness, that is so much damage coming out. Matuma Man with a double kill, and it's not over just yet. Dream, he has a time walk available, will be using it to try and jump to the low ground to try and teleport out. Can they stop him? Yes, they can on the edge with the crush coming out from Zai. That's four dead on the side of Gambit. Bounty rune spawning, that's gonna get the Ooh, Spectre closer to her radiance. Do they have enough damage? The Chris is coming out. This, like, he's standing too close to do the kisses. Uh, 
That is, uh, I'm sure they kill Puppy, but that's not worth using those kisses for, and especially not if they get more kills. Zai. There's the finger. Find, yeah, finds himself that one kill with, indeed, Yaps are helping out, and oh, they go for a smoke. Dream, he knows his smoke got popped. He finds himself Puppy. TP out. Is he going to chrono for that? The impale is enough, actually. He doesn't need to chrono for that at all. But obviously, that was a smoke where they were hoping to catch a bigger target. And where they were hoping to use the chrono for uh, for that bigger target as well. Now Nisha going into this mid lane. Ember Spirit. <sighs> FN is having a rough game. He's on top of the net worth for his squad. He's trying a lot. He's trying to... Oh, nice jump into the high ground, but the X mark is already there. It's my Carapace, as you said. Can always do that with the Radiance. Still, a nice torrent. It was a blind torrent. Gets him, but obviously, no further detection, no further chase. It's, uh, it's looking rough for Gambit, Lacoste. Yeah, I've been having that uh, feeling for the past uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, it's 19 minutes in, so yeah. <laughs> the first nine minutes were okay, and after that, <laughs> it felt It's rough. just the way Team Secret plays. I mean, Ooh. I've been praising them uh, for a reason. Gambit was never ahead in this game. They're still ages on Spectre, so they want to get the most out of it, uh, build up the advantage. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, there's split push coming out from uh, Death Larder with the Vlad, some extra armor on the creeps. Oh, how the range. And they do take out with the Aegis. Maybe they can take him out again, though, with being locked in position with the kisses. The Chrome That's how you do well. it. That is exactly how you do it. That is a very important kill for Gambit. And actually, they cookie forward. They have Nisha locked in position as well with a roar. And Nisha has got no support system here. He is all by himself. Can he do something before he will most certainly die? The answer is no, he cannot. That is exactly what Gambit needs to do. And the Tier 2 tower still lives as well. They keep that one. That's what I wanted to see from Gambit. Uh, use that Chronosphere with the Kisses for extra damage. They executed it uh, perfectly. There was no boat to make. Yeah, he does not have a buyback at this point. He just bought... Uh... Oh, Found there it is. Great. Purpose. Yep, and indeed the Kisses as well. Great kill for Gambit. And in the meantime, Secret was not able to find anybody. They do go in here to try and pick off some, uh, some strays that are left behind after the, uh, the hit and run on Matuma Man. They find themselves in X Assassin, but in comes Dream with the Chronosphere. Nisha trying to kill FN on the back lines in the meantime. And the roar coming out there on Good Zion as well. Up. Great follow up. Another a buyback as well coming out from Puppy who died in the Chronosphere. And FN did not die to Nisha. So Nisha is actually his boat. Well. Well, this was a five-man smoke by Gambit. Can they find Nisha and can they kill him in time? The roar is there and the kisses as well on the back line, though. Nicely done. Matuma Man is trying to make something happen. The Chrono actually kills an illusion. He That's caught four of them. He did. The crush coming out there as well from Zion. A buyback for Nisha. Of course, he wants to be here for this finger of death coming out from Yapster. Take out 7G. Can they chase for more, though? The X mark, not going to do much. Puppy teleporting forward, fight, looking for a Sprout, but he's got the time relation on him. He's not able to get it. They're kind of lucky slash happy that they only lost FNG, but they also, I mean, they obviously also lost the Roshan, and I think that is the big one. They are also going to lose FN here uh, by the looks of things. Uh, has got some stick charges, but doesn't get enough uh, time to get his spirit up. Ah, uh, I nah. see what JJ likes. You know, if I'm playing Ogre, actually, I do like Clumsy Net because you can multicast it, and that's, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Chrono Spear, pretty cool as well, as uh, that is a Nisha gone. Quick pick up, no buyback available either. Uh, this time around, as uh, should still be on cooldown. Indeed, it is. The App Store getting roared, actually. Uh, surprisingly so. He will die, though. At least, you know, they got that one. Zai, he's left alone at this point. This is not a fight that Secret is interested in, and Zai is very speedy. He's actually still quite a bit of damage done to Gambit, but uh, not by Matuma Man. He's trying to run. He's trying to get out. He is not going to be able to with the Impale and the Kisses coming out. He needs some bashes. The Centaur actually coming out to, <laughs> to help. Actually, no, that was a Centaur from Beastmaster. For a second there, I thought it was a beast a Centaur just coming out from the creeps to just come in and yep. After they lost that Beastmaster, I thought they were just going to back off, yeah. but uh, they lost the uh, Spectre and Lion. Yeah, that's that's big. That is massive. The Shacklow in the trees in the meantime on the side. He's looking for a target as well. And they find one. They oh, the man. oh, double stun plus Thorin. Yeah, that is uh, that is secret to doing very well. This fight, FN does have buyback available. He might need to use it because this tier two tower is about to drop, slapped around by Yapstor. 
Beastmaster a bought a full BKB, does not have a buyback at the moment. Oof. Dumping in with the crush there. FN being a fish, there's the Chronosphere dream. He needs a, he has a brilliant Chronosphere up on all five of Secret, but you need more damage, you need more follow-up. Snapfire not being there is a massive hinder to Gambit. That could have been absolutely amazing. And unfortunately for Gambit, it turns out to be lackluster. Yes, they get the kill on the squishy support Lion, but he bought back, he is almost back to the side of the map from Gambit. Repair Four kit coming through. Let's see I mean, it's how much a little bit. they can delay. It's the last set of Raxes for them. Yeah, they have to, and they have to fight this. The Mortimer's Kisses is up in a second, as in Snapfire is up in a second, and so is Beastmaster, but it will be too late to save their uh, their Rax. I believe Mega Creeps will be on board for Secret. Ooh, Dream getting X Mark back into the puddle with the rest of Secret, and they know that there is no Chronosphere this time round. So if they win this fight, the game and the series is there. FN on the back line trying to find Yapster. Dream actually gets a kill. There are the kisses. Is there enough damage? Yes, there is enough at least to kill off Puppy. The cores though, Matoma man, can he turn this around? The silence is there. The crush, Zai does not have the mana this time round, but that bash itself will be enough. Double kill for Zai. Dream jumping forward, gets the BKB off. Again, no Chrono, though. There's nothing he can do other than just making his way to the Fountain. Shaklo, X-Vampire, and Dream. Only three alive, and it's not going to be enough to do anything. GG's are cold. It is Gambit that dropped down, and they will play in the playoff brackets from the lower bracket. It will be Secret starting off in the upper bracket tomorrow. They make it look easy. Like, they didn't drop a game.